the Board of Education and Diversity in Public Education. And we have with us uh, Dr. Raymond Richardson and uh, Dr. H. Uh, Coleman McGinnis. <clears throat> Dr. McGinnis, before we had our first uh, commercial break, we promised that we'd give you an, an opportunity to talk about uh, perhaps some of your own personal experiences uh, dealing with Brown versus the Board of Education and how people that you knew responded uh, perhaps to uh, this decision. Well, I certainly remember uh, as, 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 you know, an 11 or 12 year old child, the, uh, uh, the hoopla that came out uh, in, in Richmond uh, and, and I actually was pleasantly surprised when I moved to Nashville that, uh, that the environment did seem uh, uh, somewhat different. The, uh, the governor of Tennessee, uh, when he called, Governor Frank Lemon, when he called the state militia out, it was to ensure that the, that the black children were able to get into the schools and, and obey the court orders as opposed to what Faubus was doing in Little Rock and some of the other southern governors. Um, I think the, the, the key thing to remember here is that, is that culture change is a, uh, is a very slow thing. Um, and, and a very, a very subtle and, 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 and undercurrent. You don't, you just aren't going to see this from uh, from day to day or even year to year. It's taken us uh, uh, 25 years since the merger of, of UT Nashville and Tennessee State to get to the point where we are now, which I think is a very positive and very constructive thing. But we didn't get there easily. It's taken a lot of, a lot of battles, um, a lot of arguments, a lot of debates a lot of soul searching in, in, in many respects um, to go through a series of stages because there was a lot of resistance to the merger. There was a lot of resistance to the 84 stipulation of settlement for a number of reasons. Um, the current decree we're operating under, we really took a year uh, to, to work on this. The various parties uh, negotiating, I mean in some cases you, as, as I'm sure Ray will, will agree, you, you have to do some negotiating even among yourselves uh, before you can start talking about negotiating with the other folks who are involved in this. Uh, but we had the, the, the leadership of uh, the person who's now the monitor in this case, Carlos Gonzalez from Alabama, who, who helped put this together. And it really was something that, that, that most of us thought we could buy into. And then we uh, sort of set out to, to try and get the campus to, mm -hmm. to buy into it. I mean, the state, by the time this is over with, between the, uh, the, the, the stipulation and this consent decree, will have spent about $200 million on mm -hmm. Tennessee State mm -hmm. University. Uh, and the, the earlier being mostly mm -hmm. on the buildings. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we're really talking about, well, three things. The uh, administrative infrastructure and, 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 and bringing our ourselves into the 21st century in terms of technology and software and that kind of thing to, to make us uh, really able to serve the students. Um, new programs that we're uh, going to undertake uh, to reach out much more to the Nashville community, to non-traditional students, uh, both in the, the, the sort of traditional classroom manner and also going out of the web and distance education, that kind of thing, focusing on business. Uh, and Ray can talk a little bit about what they're doing with the e-business program. Uh, in health sciences, which obviously is a very important uh, industry in the Nashville area, uh, and in, in, in government, in public affairs, urban studies, that kind of thing. And the third area is, is the money that's going to be spent on renovating what is uh, the old UT Nashville building, which is now our Avon Williams downtown campus. Uh, we've got $14 million uh, now to, to renovate that campus and to really make it into the, to the show place, and a place not only for classes, but the kind of place that, uh, mm -hmm. that folks in downtown would like to come by and have mm -hmm. lunch or put on some cultural kind of programs and just make it something that, mm -hmm. that becomes really a central part of mm -hmm. life for, for, for downtown mm -hmm. Nashville. Very good. And of course, Dr. Richardson, uh, over this last uh, couple of minutes, would you say that uh, the state of Tennessee is now making an earnest effort in terms of trying to provide the resources necessary for uh, uh, institutions like Tennessee State University? I would say yes, and, and the reason is that uh, the Attorney General went to the court and asked for this settlement, mm -hmm. and that's different from what has happened before. Mm -hmm. The previous Attorney General went to the legislature and told them they didn't have to fund mm -hmm. a stipulation of settlement, and so the state has done an about-face, just as the South, I talked about the change in the South. The state has done an about face with respect to the, the consent decree. Mm -hmm. And they actually have worked with us mm -hmm. in terms of developing programs, people who uh, opposed new kinds of initiatives mm -hmm. for Tennessee State in the past mm -hmm. are now supporting them. And one thing we have um, a mandate to do is to develop a relationship with businesses mm -hmm. in Nashville. Mm -hmm. 
And we've gone this route. We've developed relationships with IBM, Lotus, Sun Microsystems. Mm -hmm. We're on the brink of developing a relationship with um, uh, Hewlett Packard, mm -hmm. with uh, Oracle. Mm -hmm. And what we've done is to develop a lot of um, um, new kinds of skills mm -hmm. uh, for students. And those new skills have allowed students to do things they've not been mm -hmm. able to do in the past. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use that to expand now to the local community mm -hmm. to bring those same skills to Nashville. Very good. And of course, I think as we uh, make preparations uh, for the uh, final commercial break, let me thank the two of you for coming by because we will be joined on this third segment by uh, another individual from uh, Tennessee State University to talk about uh, the Office of Minority Affairs uh, there. Uh, but then, so let me thank the two of you for giving us the excellent information that you've uh, given us. And uh, let me uh, have this uh, first commercial break, and uh, then we'll be back with uh, our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. Hey, guys. Day. 